Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to look at the new generative upscale options in Photoshop. With this image of the Arctic Tern, I'll drag the crop marquee around the bird in order to discard all of the unwanted area in the sky. Then I'll click Done on the contextual taskbar to apply the crop. Then let's choose View and view the image at 100%. I've set the status bar to show the document dimensions, and we can see that after cropping, the file is actually quite small. While I would have selected Image, and then Image Size to enlarge the image in the past, we can now use Generative Upscale to help improve the results. I'll start by selecting the Firefly Upscaler model, and then choose between upscaling at 2x or 4x. All of these models have a maximum upscaling dimension, so if your projected output exceeds the limits, the option to upscale will be grayed out. I'll choose to upscale the image and speed up the video to save time. Photoshop generates a new document that contains two layers, an original image that was resized and a layer that's been generated using the Firefly Upscaler. Toggling the visibility of the Firefly upscaled image, we can see that it appears sharper and has more contrast and detail than the version that didn't use generative AI. Next, let's return to the original document and choose Image and Generative Upscale again. There are two partner models we can also choose from. Topaz Gigapixel, which can be run with or without face recovery, which preserves facial features on photos with people in them, and Topaz Bloom, which has a creativity slider. The higher the value, the more room the model has to create new information when upscaling. To save time, I'll choose Cancel and switch to this document where I've already run these two models. Here are the results of Topaz Gigapixel. It's quite subtle. And here are the results of Topaz Bloom with the Creative Slider set to 0, and another version with the Creative Slider set to 10. Alright, let's take a quick look at another photo that has people in it. Here are the results of the image upscaled using the Firefly Upscaler, which is quite subtle. And here are the results of the Topaz Gigapixel without the face recovery, which I think is even more subtle but here are the results with the face recovery enabled, which does a much better job of maintaining the detail in the women's faces. And here are the results of Topaz Bloom with a creativity slider set to five, which I feel is a bit too creative with the faces, but does a really great job being creative with the clothing. One of the advantages of having these partner models inside of Photoshop is that we can use a combination of the different models using layers and masking. I'll reposition the results of the Topaz Gigapixel model with the face recovery enabled above the results of Topaz Bloom. I'll toggle on its visibility and then choose Layer, Layer Mask, and Hide All to create a layer mask filled with black. Then I'll tap the B key to select the paintbrush and painting with white in the mask reveal the more natural faces rendered by Topaz Gigapixel while taking advantage of the results of the upscaling by Topaz Bloom on the layer below. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.